infrastructure, we can't do all the work in four years Fashila. And says Nigeria can seek to leverage from the large pool of fund with the ordinary people looking for secured investment. And as Tinubu begs Fashila for employment slots. And I want you to put it in your agenda that senators need slots for employment of constituents, Tinubu to Fashila. Abuja the immediate past Minister of Power, Works and Housing, Babat Hundraji Fashhila, San, Monday said that there was the urgent need for Nigeria as a country to float a N10 trillion bond where Nigerians could subscribe to the bond for critical infrastructure in the country and that government can't do all the work in four years. He said that the bond would address the nation's infrastructural deficit. Even as he said that there was the need to cash back the budget to fund critical projects. Fashila who has identified challenge of funding as major issue that limited the completion of strategic roads infrastructure across the country, said that with the bond, Nigeria as a country can seek to leverage from what he described as the large pool of fund with the ordinary people looking for secured investment. According to him, the bond could be issued on tranches and broken up into very small denomination in order for it to achieve its set goals. Speaking in Abuja when he appeared before the Senate for screening as a ministerial nominee at the ongoing ministerial screening by the Senate, Fashila explained that limited budget allocation for the execution of critical infrastructure had resulted in government borrowing from multilateral corporations to fund the budget. He said, I think there is some opportunity and I made this presentation during the last 2019 budget presentation that one of the ways I think is to expand instruments like Sukuk. Maybe it won't be Sukuk this time but I think Nigeria can seek to leverage from the large pool of fund with the ordinary people looking for secured investment. And some of them are not even in the banking sector keeping their cash. And I propose that we should consider something like an 10 trillion infrastructure bond backed by parliamentary support and secured by the federal government with a reasonable coupon issued in tranches each year, as we need to fund infrastructure. In my view, if we don't try this, we wouldn't know whether it has worked. But I am convinced that we can do something along this line based on the interest that I saw in the Sukuk in the 100 BN Sukuk, for example, there were about 286 investors and the instrument was oversubscribed, which meant that there was an appetite for it. The ministerial nominee also suggested that Nigerians should seek a consensus on Project Holiday which would allow government to concentrate on completion of outstanding projects rather than embarking on fresh ones. Fashhala said, we need to have a consensus and on projects, let us prioritize projects. Let us pick projects and deliver. We can't do all the work in four years. The time of a nation is more than four years. Nigeria isn't yet a rich nation that I think it should be. There is a gap between our needs and financing. The former minister who noted that despite the challenge of funding, his team while in office had left the power, works and housing sectors better than they met it in 2015, stressed that this had resulted in the construction of some critical infrastructure on roads, housing and power adding that the ministry had secured the release of 720 stranded containers containing transmission equipment. Fashhala who explained that the equipment had been utilized to improve transmission lines across the country, said that the ministry had made significant efforts on off-grid electricity within the period of his stewardship. The former minister who listed the off-grid electricity executed by the government to include the electrification of our area and Sura markets, 
also told the Senate that a clear roadmap had been established for the electrification of other 350 markets and 37 federal universities using off-grid electricity. The nominee who explained that state governments are empowered by the Constitution to generate, transmit and distribute power, stressed that there was the need for all stakeholders to support the regulators in the ministries to fully enforce the provision of the law and the discharge of their duties. On road, Fashola who explained that the ministry had involved in the construction, rehabilitation of roads in the 36 states of the federation, also told the lawmakers that construction of affordable housing projects were ongoing in 34 states, noting that some of the houses had been completed. Fashhala, who was grilled by senators on issues in power, works and housing sectors for almost an hour was later asked to take a bow after several encomium from senators over his steering performance as minister. Meanwhile, Senator Alorimi Tinubu, APC, Lagos Central however lamented that Fashhala did not help in the area of providing employment for her constituents, just as she urged him to ensure the allocation of employment slots to senators including her for their constituents, when he eventually becomes a minister in his second coming. Alorimi, wife of the national leader of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Aziwa Jubola Tinubu, lamented Fashhala's inability to employ some of her constituents into the ministries he headed. She said, when you get there this time, just remember the senators here have people, back home in our constituents, asking us for employment slots. I want you to put that in your agenda for your second term that we all need slots for employment for our constituents. President of the Senate, Senator Ahmad Gawan in his remarks said that there was the urgent need to involve a comprehensive approach to raise fund for critical infrastructure in the country.